Hello, Sage here on the Sage channel. And, uh, well, somebody actually requested, uh, they sort of missed the old intro, the Hello! Echo Sage here on the Sage channel, a sleep, art, game, and eat. That's quite old, and I also kind of miss doing that sometimes, but either way, we're back in another singular survival, and today we're going to be going ahead and, first of all, upgrading this ship. Because I found that aiming downwards can be, well, quite dangerous. So, first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and stick a few thingamajigsies, thingamajigsies, thingamajigs on here. Uh, kerplunk and kerplunk, and weld these up. This will probably take two seconds. I'm going to definitely either fast forward or honestly just skip this. And there we go, four more rockets in there, or thrusters in there, to help us with our reverse directions. That'll actually allow us to angle the ship downwards some more, without having to worry about uh, getting into too much trouble. So it's almost as much forward power as it has now. And now that we got that done, we'll actually start on what we're going to be doing today, which is attempting to right this ship. And how the hell are we going to do that? We've obviously been wrecked here for a little while now. We have to watch out for the uh, random cuboid of doom. How do we get the ship upright, huh? How do we... Ooh, and first off, how do we keep ourselves upright here? Very dangerous. Well, I think we're actually going to do it with a mod. I believe I mentioned this before. We'll do Control g to go into build mode. And you see the tractor beam mod. This has been in the uh, game for a little while. It's a mod, of course, so it's not in the vanilla game, but I've had it loaded up, so we know stability-wise just having it here isn't apparently causing us any nightmare issues. And we're going to go ahead and try to flip our ship with this. Who knows, things could go wrong, we could end up destroying everything and having to reload a save, or uh, it could go great, or it could be minor damage, we might just live with it. But for the time being, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And I figure we're going to build it about, let's see, we'll get to maybe 150 meters away from the main antenna, so right about here, and we'll go ahead and build ourselves a little base right here, and actually install a reactor and everything, and basically have a proper facility to operate on, um, well, to flip this over. Imagine it like a sci-fi thing where, well, even a real-world thing, when they're trying to raise up a sunken wreck, sometimes they'll build some scaffolding and stuff around it or nearby. So that's what we're going to do here, and hopefully we'll have some success in this. And of course, uh, that's some oddity I'm seeing during a meteor storm on uh, Sage Cam. That's very odd, actually. Yeah, not sure I've ever seen anything quite like that before appears to move with the camera. Um, yeah, that's definitely unique. That's definitely unique. Don't go wrong. Don't go wrong, new hinge. I've installed connect, connect, connect little hinge. Yes, P. That didn't work, right? It won't work because I have to press the number four. I've done it. I don't know what my ship is doing now, but I've done it. Uh, ship, what the fuck are you doing now? Um, the fuck? Let's just, uh, empty that conveyor. Conveyor. Em okay. Let's just empty our inventory, huh? I got stuff on us we don't need, so we got to uh, main storage, and... Hey, main storage, we don't need this. Or, apparently, these. Or the battery cells, I don't think. Yeah. Let the wolf come back for them if we need them, right? Hopefully that'll be enough. Um, can we... Maybe... Oh god, what's gonna happen if we disconnect, huh? Please don't blow everything up. Uh, hover, hover, stay hovering. Okay, cool. Let's do a number... Ooh, level out, level out, level out, level out. Alright, cool. Let's do a number five to lock that hinge, and now it'll function just like a normal ship. I to actually unlock that hinge and fly forward. No, it's not gonna fling it out. Whatever, we'll lock it for now. <laughs> if it burns itself off, it's fine. Ah, oh, for God's sake, Sage.
Alrighty, we're finally done constructing this pretty large facility. Oh, motherfuck. Alrighty, so we're finally done building this fairly hefty facility of ours. Rather, unfortunately, it does appear that Sage Cam, um, has found itself connected to an alternative dimension, it would appear, where the ship has flipped itself upside down and even, uh, well, actually pierced itself through the planetoid. It also looks like there's some weird oddities happening all over the planet on Sage Cam's view. So we've reconnected Sage Cam, disconnected and reconnected with the F5 button, which appears to have sorted out our issues. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, run ourselves into the facility. I'll tell you guys uh, what's got, what we got inside the facility. Not really too much going on in here. I do have a uh, pressurized doors here, so ta-da! This area is pressurized. We don't have any proper airlock stuff, just those two doors. Seems like they've removed this sort of thing where it pushes you around, but you can see this area here is actually pressurized. You've all seen us build this all up pretty quick. We got our reactor in here, stocked with a hundred and something uranium, more than enough to keep this little tiny place running for pretty much eternity. And through here, we're gonna go ahead and head up our large walkway, which all of this is pressurized. All the way up to the control room, directly under that tower. Little bits of ground sticking through, but ta-da, you can see we have all this. And now, we can go ahead and press G. And take the tractor beam and set it to be control. And now we can go ahead and do this and we can control the tractor beam. Now, how does this work? I'm not exactly sure. So let's save right here, right now. Uh, and in fact, we probably should have done one more thing before we saved, which is to go ahead and actually uh, turn this tractor beam off. So tractor, tractor beam, there we go, turn you off. There we go. Now we'll save. That way, whenever we log in, if things go terribly wrong, we're not going to have that sitting right there, just in case, you know, nightmares might happen. With that successfully saved, let's go ahead and look into the tractor beam here. We have a shoot turned off, aim radius 600, so it looks like it can go all the way up to 800. Uh, do not target meteorites, do not enable idle means do not target anything for the time being except for maybe large ships you know even we'll turn large ships off keep everything off cool uh how does this work i don't know minimum distance let's say 200 meters and presumably now whenever it grabs something it'll move it to 200 meters and we're going to test it on our ship so we'll turn it back on now it should not target anything we'll do another quick save <laughs> there we go quick save complete we'll do our number one to get control of it again uh appears like it was facing another way jesus christ that looks like quite the confusing sight uh like eyes are adapting uh and let's just do a left click should activate it right so if we do that it's actually pushing our ship away, and in theory, should it be pulling it whichever way we're aiming because we were looking at it? I've not actually used this too much, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. It appears to be pushing it away. Hmm. All right, well, I did test this once in creative mode, and we had some success with writing our large ship. So we're going to go ahead, move... Oh, look, the guns that I threw out <laughs> it just ended up on the ceiling here, huh? I kind of suspected that might have happened, but it did. Uh, let's go ahead, move everything to a slightly safer distance. So we got a little bit of a depressurization there. Uh, and by everything, I just mean our ship right here. Grab you, boop. And let's move you... You know what, let's just dock it right here. Uh, something I did do while we were uh, messing about. Maybe you saw a little bit of it. The conveyor I've now stuck at the back of the ship. So that should help us dock at different points. Doesn't seem to be burning itself off either, which is very, very nice. So line this up, lock this down, lickety split like, and line up and lock. Come on, there we go. Do a number four button to line that up, number five to lock it, turn off our initial dampers, hopefully not forget that. There we go, so now we have this locked in place, and in theory, maybe its power supply will even feed into this even more. Oh god, I'm, I'm a little scared here. Uh, let's go ahead, hop back into the facility, and I guess maybe it would have been quicker if I just put a seat outside, eh, but what? I have not done that. We're inside. We can take our helmet off. And now we can go ahead and run ourselves all the way back into the control room. You might have thought we'd put the controls up there, but no, we didn't. <laughs> Down in the bunker, where if everything goes wrong, hopefully we won't be destroyed. All right, so now let's go ahead, target the tractor, put you in a group so we can find you. Boop, that should be at the very top now. And we're going to turn you shoot on. So now it should be hitting 
the ship, right? Interacting with the ship. The ship's moving. Okay. The ship is beginning to move. Maybe. Maybe we should turn this off. Oh, well, that's an air vent. Why is it that whenever I go over here, it's going to an air vent and not that? Okay, turn that off again real, real quick. <laughs> What the hell is that sound? What are those sounds? I hear explosions. It's happening! What? No! What? Okay, so I shut the tractor beam off and suddenly it began destroying itself. A ship that was sitting perfectly fine and has now begun to sink into the universe. This is why we saved while the tractor beam was off. Suddenly I'm losing health as well. That's not cool. This is why we saved while the tractor beam was off. Suddenly I'm losing health as well. That's not cool. What? Why am I losing health? The reactors? The lights in here have suddenly gone out. Why did that happen? What in the hell? Oh, why is that just floating now? Why did the thing above me blow up? Why did you disconnect? And of course, second sage found uh, very little of it. I figure second sage was in there when it blew up. And um, yeah, I will not even know what second sage saw until I get to watch it back in editing. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. So I guess Second Sage originally seeing things messed up was a s premonition. Oh, look. The Tim system survived. Second Sage. <laughs> oh, my God. Second Sage's area is just completely gone. Let's uh, reload and try that again. And this time, after I turn on that thing, I'm not turning it back off. And suddenly I feel like us being in the bunker was actually the right thing because apparently everything started blowing up. Does this maybe need more bracing or something? Does it take that into account? I don't know. Anyway, let's reload this. Alright, we've reloaded. Everything appears to still be intact. Uh, thank Christ for that. Huh. Alright. Maybe I should have experimented around a little bit more with this before uh, loading it up in survival, eh? Uh, by the way, I just glimpsed at Sage Cam's footage. Or more exactly, it's view, and um, uh, I, I, uh, I don't think it's going to be of too much use in this, <laughs> because, well, yeah, <laughs> look at that. Okay, anyway, um, tractor, tractor beam, aiming radius, let's up that, whatever we say, we do, it doesn't matter. Whatever you said, whatever you did, I didn't mean it, didn't mean it, I want you back for good, want you back. Alrighty, and uh, let's go ahead now. Once again, we're going to hop out of our seat and go and dock the ship again. Because we apparently didn't save after that point, like a fool. Alrighty, uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and leave it down here this time. Instead of setting it up uh, on top of something where if power goes out, it all falls and explodes. So hopefully that'll be a little bit safer. Also, the game's for... Oh, they're not frozen. Cool. Yeah, let's hope this uh, attempt to goes better. Okie dokie, so let's do our number one, take control over the turret, let's aim at the thing, and then do a, uh, I guess, left mouse click, and I have just quick saved. Alright, the whole ship appears to be moving, oh, oh, it's moving a little bit, it's moving. Now, when I did the singular test that I did, the ship sort of righted itself magically. I'm starting to wonder if maybe said magic was a one-time fluke. And I should have saved it for now. Let's let go for a second. Nothing is horrible's happening. Oh, it is moving though. So let's try it again, huh? Let's try clicking on it again. Maybe if we clicked at the closest point, it would move that point, in theory, away from us out to like the 800 block point that we had set. Oh, or did we even set that this time? Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Is it just me or is it sinking into the ground? It looks like it might be sinking into the ground. Let's let's aim up. 
<gasps> okay, it's moved. It's it's now sinking and destroying itself magically. Ooh, stop. Stop the destruction. Stop the destruction. You are a bastard child. Nobody loves you, structure. Ah, yes. You can see the cubes of doom have begun summoning themselves out of the ground. Uh, the ship is a sacrifice to the planet of Mars that is secretly built and controlled by the cuboid people. Uh, hmm. And of course, Second Sage died again. And because it was such a strange explosion on Sage Cam's view, well, let's watch it again, but only from Sage Cam's view this time. As you can see, we have a wonderful amount of pieces um, appearing to the left, while on the right, you can see Sage Cam... Uh, oh, the Iron Virus magically imploding and teleporting its bits of wreckage over in front of the tractor station. And then Sage Cam, of course, dies like always.